Hello YouTube, today I'm at the 2019 Detroit Auto Show taking a look at this 2019 Toyota Highlander Nightshade. Uh, the Nightshade is the blackout appearance package for this vehicle. Um, this vehicle does have a almost burgundy metallic look to it. It looks really aggressive with the uh, blacked out grille, blacked out headlight bezels. Very nice. You do have uh, plastic fender flares with splash guards. I believe this is a 19 inch, 19 inch blacked out rim. Very nice splash guards and rocker panel protection uh, all the way down. Blacked out handles, as well as a blacked out roof rack with a Yakima uh, storage system up top. Again, splash guards in the rear. Very aggressive looking rear. I love the way this looks. You have your trailer hitch right here with a step built in. So if you have something you need to access up top, you can easily get to it. SE all wheel drive is in black. Black applique here. There's your trunk release button. You do have a backup camera right there. Lots and lots of storage space back here. Holy cow. I believe your spare tire. Nope, more storage. You got lighting right here for the back. Storage over here. Very cool. To close the trunk, you just push the button. I don't think there's any power in the vehicle right now, so I'm gonna do it by hand. Highlander's all blacked out. Here's your fuel fill port. I believe it is locked from the inside. Overall, pretty nice looking exterior vehicle. You do have blind spot monitoring with this vehicle as well. Let's take a quick look at the interior. Here's a closer look at the interior real quick. We got all of your window controls on the left side. Above that we have your lock and unlock buttons. And then above that we have your uh, mirror control. Over here we have your automatic headlights on off or auto on off. To the right of that we have automatic start stop off. And then we have your trunk release button right here. Washer fluid button right here. Little storage container right here for some business cards. Coming up top we have the tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right. Coming back to the steering wheel, it is leather wrapped. On the left side we have all of your volume controls and your seek controls or your mode. And then all of your hands-free calling are right here. On this side, this button I believe controls the L LCD uh, display um, when the vehicle is on. Over here we have your lane keep assist and I believe it's adaptive cruise control or collision uh, braking. Little screen right up here which I believe shows the time. Your touch screen display is right here with capacitive buttons for the physical button portion. We have a micro SD card reader right there as well. Push button start, hazard lights, and then all of your physical buttons for the uh, climate control. Under here we have a pretty deep storage shelf. Put a couple of plus size smartphones down there and it is lit. I don't know how well it's gonna come through but it is lit. Down here we have traction control on off button, snow button, DAC button, which I believe is uh, hill descent control, um, and then locking differential. Here we have your uh, shifter with two cup holders to the right of it, and then your heated seat um, right here for the driver and the passenger. Um, it is a dial, so you can put it all the way up, all the way down, or somewhere in the middle. You have a two system or two kind of opening uh, center console which gives you access to down there. This is a 12 volt outlet. Pretty big. Um, you can either just access something here or if you have something in the front you can just grab it like that. Pretty, pretty unique I'd say. Here's another shot of the seats. Again leather, red stitching. Another portion of that shelf, there's a little divider right here, and then a glove compartment. 
pretty standard. You have halogen lit vanity for passenger and driver. Up top, you have your, your glasses storage compartment, as well as a mirror to keep an eye on the uh, little ones. Halogen map lights, door light on off button, and it looks like a three door universal garage remote. And then on this side and this side, you have the control for the sunroof. Let's take a look at the back seats real quick. Before I get in, I do want to show, we do have a uh, sun visor here. I like when car companies include that. That's a pretty cool feature. Really nice soft touch leather cup holder. Um, plastic right here so you get in, you don't get mud all over the carpet. Uh, these seats do fold, making getting into the back easier if you don't want to use the uh, center walkway because you do have captain's chairs with this vehicle. You do have in-seat storage behind the driver and passenger in the form of pouches. Coming over here, you do have your rear climate control. Down here, you have a little storage tray with a RCA video input and a 120 watt power outlet. Meaning, this vehicle does come with a uh, Blu-ray player. Hook up your Xbox or PlayStation and keep the kids occupied the whole trip. You do have a foldable uh, cup holder and storage tray. Keep a couple phones here. Put your massive McDonald's cups right there, and it does fold out of the way. Very nice armrests. They do lock into place to reset them. Pull them all the way down, and just leave them where you want them. There's actually a good amount of room in here. And then again, those are the back seats that we saw earlier. Let's take a quick look one last time at the exterior. Again, here's a last look at the Highlander. Very neat little car. I think, I think the color option is awesome. I think the, uh, the blackout black look makes this look extremely aggressive. If you're interested in more auto show news and coverage, please consider subscribing to the channel. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.